we are back with another video and today Pixie and Roxy, who is currently sleeping at the moment, would like to share our doggy bows so far. Now this is not ones that we have made, this is ones that we purchased when they were puppies when they had long hair. So we can't wait for them to have long hair again to get them in. So I keep them in this box and this is a box that I got from W Smith's and it's the different compartments in it and I just decorated this box, you know I like to decorate things so I just stuck the stickers um, on them, some of them are kind of broken off just now. So this box is going to store all our bows so let's get started. And the bows are mainly some of them are from eBay, but some of them are mainly from a person called Cynthia Dog Bows. Now, these are the best bows. I know you can get the bows from Doggy Bow Ties. I've not tried them yet. These are the best bows that I've seen so far and they're beautiful and they've got so many um, different you know, types, sizes. They've got quite a lot of the wee figures on them as well. So there is her website. And just a wee thank you very much for the order. And I've always kept this, I've had this for over a year. Okay, so the first one is the biggest one. These are seven over eight, seven, eight. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, this is a bigger bowl. So we've got a Halloween one and this is the bigger the biggest bowl now i don't know how she stiffens these i have stiffener but i know you can starch bows or you can use a type of glue but it's got the pumpkin bit in the middle now i've seen these on the internet and i've got some myself as you've probably seen in our previous bow making videos for the supplies and you can get a whole range of different, it doesn't need to be Halloween, it can be Christmas, anything, um, New Year, party, bees, animals, bugs, that kind of thing. So I really really like this bow and again she's got the two bands on the back to secure. Now these are actually smaller bands than what I have. They've not tried these one, this one yet, um, because we obviously got them cut before Halloween. So hopefully by October this year, Pixie will have a big enough top knot that we can wear this one. So that is the first one. The second one we got is just a kind of future one. And again, Now she cuts these different, it's got these kind of fancy bits down the side which is really nice and this one isn't really as, the, the, the sides aren't really as stiff but there's nothing stopping me putting them in my needles and stuffing it myself as well um, and again with the two bands, now that suits Pixie down to a T. She's had this one in before and she suits it so well and the good thing about these small bands are that you only put it over the top knot once and then you lock in the bow by putting the, the front top knot and the back top knot together and that keeps the bow in place. So that's a nice one with the wee perils on it. And then we've got the carnations, the one with the flowers in between. So again we've got the peach and we've got the purple. So very nice. Um, and the peach which again is really nice I really like the white polka dots now this one needs to be re-stiffened this one we used quite a lot and it needs to, as you can see it's kind of quite bendy so I can pop my needles in there and we can re-stiffen with that That is those two. The next one is for autumn time. Now Pixie should at least have uh, enough of a top knot to wear this one. And this is our favourite so far. 
and it's got a nice autumn leaf on it. Now, I'm amazed at how these are stitched on and I think I'm probably going to struggle doing mine until I learn how to do it. And again with the two bands at the back, so that is the autumn bow. And then our summer bows, which we're probably not going to get into till next year now, because summer is almost over, we're in the mid of August and we will soon be heading into autumn. So these ones we'll not be able to use until next year and these are the ones with the sunflowers on them. And I got these as a pair for piggies but they're quite big so I would probably have one on each. Now these bows actually came in this size but I asked her if she could do the next size down for these so she very kindly done that. And I did have a brown ribbon one with the sunflower in the middle but I've misplaced it and I cannot find it for the life of me so I'm really disappointed but I still get these two. So next summer for those ones. And then the last one from her website is the mini mouse. Now this is another favourite as well. A nice mini mouse one. That is a favourite. So that is all from her website. I'll put the link down below um, for her page so you can go in and see. Mainly her bows are on Estee as well. She's got a Facebook page um, as well. The other bows we got are just from eBay. So We'll start off with the kind of pink ones. I'm not going to take these out of the wrapper because it takes me half my time to get them out of the wrapper. So we've got a nice pink with silver and again these ones are quite stiff as well. And with the nice wee silver beads. And then you've got these ones which are slightly different and the pink with the wee pink rhinestone and it's these rhinestones that I'm waiting for but it's just the clear ones I'm getting. You can use the clear ones with any really and again you've got the two um, bands at the back as well. And then we've got the purples and whites. So the purple, we've got these ones. Now Pixie wore this one quite a lot, she suits purple, hence why she's got a purple collar. Um, so that is our purple ones. And then we've got the more kind of stiffer bows, so we've got these ones. And again, they are quite stiff, so I'm interested to find out how they actually get them that stiff because it's clearly not the stiffener that I use. I'm wondering if they starch them and if they do, what is it I get? I really don't know. If anybody knows, please leave me a comment because I'm hoping to do this as a hobby and sell them on and if I can get them as good, then I would be ecstatic. So nice pink ones and yellow again for the summer. And it's got the rhinestone um, beads in the middle and they've got the backing on them. Now this one um, is a special one, uh, we've not used this one yet, it is a double one and it is the best from eBay that we've got so far as you can see, it's quite big and it's just the black with the silver around it is really nice. So. We are excited to use that one when Pixie and Roxy have a big enough top knot for it to fit. And then the last two we've got is pears just for piggies but I think they're going to be too big for them. And you've got the pink and again they're doubled and we've got a red for Christmas. Now at Christmas time you'll have a big enough top knot and we can wear these ones one each or Piggies, but I think pigtails, these would be too big. So they are from eBay and these ones are from uh, Cynthia Dobos. 
sorry, it was one side of the day. Um, and the rest are from Cynthia Dogbo's. So that is our collection so far. So we've got enough to last us. Now these are the bands that we got for our bows and making a top knot and these are just from eBay. Again I got them over a year ago so they have lasted a long while and the bag probably came about that full. So we have went through quite a lot but they're just the wee kind of elasticated bands and now that I'm making dog bows I'm probably going to be going through them quite a lot and to put them in the dog's hair every day just to get them used to a top knot so <clears throat> they are really good bands there is still quite a lot in there so it's going to be a while to finish them off but that is all of our products and all of our dog bows so far and our collection is only going to grow now that we are making our own and we are hoping to sell them off and do a contest or a giveaway so that is it for just now and the dogs are pretty tired hello hello are you sleeping? So that's it for just now, so like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Bye!